Oh, get my chair up. This one's called Big Mark Thought I Got a Shot. Let's get rid of a disclaimer. All you snowflakes and buttercups, well, I don't like my shows. What are you watching for? Switch off. All right, let's get on with it. Big Mark. I say Big Mark. He was, oh, he was mainly fat. He was huge. He has hands like shovels. And when you went drinking with him, he'd, he'd order like about three pints of Guinness. And when one had settled, he'd drink one, drink the next. He'd have about four or five pints. He was a big bloke. Now, how I first met Big Mark was I went to his yard to repo his um, lorries. And he gave it, give it the big, and he was a big bloke. He was big. Uh, I'd say he was six, six. He, he was just huge. And I had a bit, a bit of to and fro with him, like, you know, you're going to do this, you're going to do that. And in the end, we got his trucks. But for s some strange reason, he was local to me. I, 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 after all, after when we was doing the repo, we just become like mates. And, and in the end, he started doing some jobs with me. Just really bizarre. Anyway, I took, took Big Mark on a, on a job with me once. And it was up on this farm. It was in the middle of nowhere. And, and we pull up. And Big Mark's just sat, sat in the driver's seat like this. He, he's, he's huge. He was fat, but he was, he was big. He's just like this. And um, we get out. He, he waddles out the driver's side. He was driving. I get out and, and we find the car. The car's just there by this farm. Just, just there. And it is, it is, so we're looking around, there's no one there. I'm like, oh, where is everyone? So we're beeping the horn, and then like, the farm's just a little bit further down. And this bloke starts walking towards us. Oh, it must be our customer. Oh, you missed the so-and-so? No. Well, oh, do you know where he is? No. Well, oh, do, do you want to get him on the phone? No. Well, oh, his car's here. We're just going to repo his car. That's my son's car. Do you want to get him? No. Mate, we're just going to smash the window. Private property, can't do this, can't do that, you can't do this. Now, the law with private property, if the car is on private property, it's like the police don't know the laws, but technically, you're not really allowed to take it. But if the police ever turn up, we'd say, well, I've got to go on their property to get my property. And the police would go, oh yeah, so I see your point. But he was going on about all these public laws and private laws and all that. Which was, mate, I'm just going to smash your fucking window and take a car. Stop being a fucking div. Oh, I'm going to fucking do it. I'm going to do Oh, look, mate, look, just, I've heard it all before. Just, just get your son on the phone. Give us the keys. I'm not giving you anything. And he just stood there. He goes, you, you can't touch a car, you can't do this, you can't do that. And he just kept telling us what we can't do. And then I thought, like I said, it was before, luckily I'd done repo and before camera phones. And so I was just like, ah, oh, fuck you, mate. I'm just gonna put wind through. So I went to the um, side of the low loader. Now I have to tell you this, because it's a good part of the story. On the side of a low loader, we had these black storage bins. You undone the black storage bin, it, it folded down and we got the ratchet straps out. And sometimes we have hammers in there, so that was it. Now, this storage bin was broke, and this is a very integral part of the story. So when you put it back up and turn the handle, it wouldn't lock. So we had a bungee strap, which hooked around the back of the bin, around the front, and around the back again. So, we're all good. I've gone to get the hammer out, so I've undone the back of the bungee, took it around the front, it would make this at full stretch, took it around the front, undone the thing, got a hammer out. Well, I'm going to put your fucking window through. Farmer's going, do that, I'll shoot you. You're on my land. Fucking do it then, you cunt. Boy, he's fucking gone off. I've gone, right, fuck it. Put the window through in the car. Car alarm's going off. I don't know where the farmer's gone. Window's already been put through. Snap steering lock off. Start putting on the low loader. Big Mark's there. I mean, Big Mark, 
fucking, if you ever needed anything moving, like the front of a car, mostly you'd have to bounce it over. Big Mark, pick a bastard up, move it, put it down, put it where you want. He, 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 he was big. So we get it in position and we're loading it. All the while, I'm looking over my shoulder. Sometimes old boys make fucking, you know, make good on their threats. I'm looking for this shotgun. I'm looking for this farmer coming up. When people threaten you, you take it with a pinch of salt or not. With this bloke, just didn't know. Just really didn't know if he was going to come out with a gun. Or at least let a shotgun off. So we've loaded it. We've put the straps on. We're like, well, we're ready to go. We'd already served the bloke the paperwork. I think he just threw it on the floor. We put the window through, we're ready to go. Strapped up. Got to put the bin back on, haven't I? Lifted the bin up. Lock doesn't work. Bungee strap. Put the bungee strap round. Now, as I'm putting the bungee strap round, Big Mark's got back in the um, driver's seat because it's, it's all rocking. The back of the thing's rocking. I mean, this bloke's probably about 30 stone. This, this thing's rocking. So I'm putting this bin thing like that, putting the bungee strap around. It's at full, it's at full stretch. Put it on. Yeah, that's on. Go to walk away. Was it, fuck was it on? It fucking unhooks, comes flying round, catches my left bollock on my trousers, fucking tugs my bollock and carries on on the normal law of physics, <laughs> in a circle. <laughs> Flies round, hits the side of the wagon. Bang! <laughs> Fucking hell. I've hit the deck going, ah, ah! Mark is looked in the, in the passenger uh, wing mirror. He's heard a bang. I'm on the floor holding my bollocks. He thinks I've been shot by this farmer. He's there going, all right, Sean, what's going on? What fucking, he's trying to get out the fucking, he's a big fucking, he's trying to get out the fucking door. He can't get out the door. I can't talk, talk, I can't even breathe. My natural basic instinct to stay alive and to not pass out, to breathe, it's just going to go, I can't breathe. Don't even, can't even feel my bollocks. Can't even feel them. He's trying to ask me what's happened. I just can't say anything. He's got out, he's coming round, he's looking around, he's picking me up. He's going, have you been shot? Have you been shot? I'm like, oh, 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 oh. He's going, what's fucking, what's going on? Give me in, give me in. Because I, one, I didn't want to look a complete twat in front of a farmer. And, and I didn't know there was blood running down my leg. I couldn't feel, I couldn't feel my bollocks at all. So he's like half helping me get in the thing and go, I can't even breathe. I'm sat in the passenger seat and I'm going, he's going, want me to get out? So he gets in, he's like, what's going on? So we drive. And when I say a good five minutes, I mean a good five minutes before I could even breathe. Not talk, breathe. I've started to like calm down. And I still can't film with bollocks. And I'm like, fucking hell. I said, I might have to go to a &E. I might have ripped my bollocks off. And he's there going, uh, 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 I'm not saying it like I'm now. I'm like, oh, my bollocks. Uh, uh, and he was trying, he still doesn't know what's going on. And, I, and I'm trying to tell him the fucking bungee strap. And he, he still can't comprehend. And I'm going, we, we need to pull over. We, we need to pull over. And I'm like this, oh. Oh, so we pull over into this lay-by. And he's like, what's what I said? Help me get my trousers down. Help me pull my trousers and boxer shorts down. So there, there's Big Mark getting out the thing. So now, it was, it was, day, it was daytime, it wasn't night time. So now it's, it's broad daylight, it's in the afternoon. We just pulled over in this, in this lay-by, on on just, on like just on a normal road. And, I, I, and, I'm, and I'm there, pulling my trousers down. I've got Big Mark. If anyone drove past, there'd just be Big Mark, near enough, bending down on his hands and knees, pulling his trousers down, pulling my trousers down in front of me. And, 
and like we, we managed to get my trousers down and I'm there going, oh, I don't want to look, 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 fucking I can't fit, I don't want to look, I don't want to look, I was going, oh, after three, just pull my pants down, <laughs> just, just pull them down, just, just fucking do it, and they pulled them down, oh my fucking days, honestly, my bollocks, one bollock was like that, the other one was, was black, but this one bollock was like that, and my whole fucking ball sack was just full of blood. And my whole ball sack was just fucking black. And I'm like, do I go to A&E? What do I do? Have I ripped my bollock off? Hey, I'm fucking Russian there. <laughs> but did I rip my bollock off? And I was like, oh, it, it's fucking crazy. And we still had repoing to do. And I remember all, all day, I was just sat there. And my bollocks were killing. And I mean, absolutely killing. And um, I never went to hospital. But obviously it didn't rip my bollock off because I still had three kids after that. So that is Big Mark and the shotgun story. <laughs>